One way to really level up your graphic design career is with a portfolio website. In today's video, we're going to be looking at how to structure and create your very own portfolio website in Frema with zero code and all for free. So sit back and let's go. Alright guys, so just before we dive in, make sure you have Frema installed on your desktop and you can get that from Frema.com. You can actually use it on the browser. Well, personally, I prefer to download the app. So right now I'll be switching to the app and this is my own website, which I built in Frema. So just before we go in, let's look at the basic structure of your portfolio which should help you to design yours as well and you can adapt it to various templates. So ideally, every portfolio should have a hero section. Just basically talking about who you are and what you do. So here is mine. I just wrote my name and what I do, I'm a brand designer. So you might be wondering, oh, how do you go about creating this? All you have to do is go to insert and you can see under sections they have a lot of templates which you can try out for the hero section or other sections of your website. Now just before we continue, I would recommend that you have some experience with Figma and using features like auto layout because if you look at um, the properties panel at the right, under width and height, there are some properties like fill, fit container. So it's going to be essential for you to have some experience with Figma before you really dive into Figma. All right, after showcasing your hero section and what you want to write, another key section of your portfolio should be your work or your projects. And this should really feature early in your portfolio because you want people to quickly see what you can do and what you've stated from your hero section above. So here are just a couple of my best uh, projects which I featured majorly on brand identity and design. Now, each of these uh, projects all link to a specific page. If you look at the left over here, you see there are a couple of extra pages which link to each project. Now we'll go into that later. After your work section could be writing. Now this only applies if you are probably a blogger, if you have a blog or if you write on Medium. So I write on Medium. So I decided to feature some articles um, here, right? So each of these articles actually link to my Medium page. So if I select this, how I got started in design, you can see there's a link to. So I've added the link which will take it to media when someone clicks it. So you can also come to the insert panel and look at various uh, examples of sections you can use. I think I ended up using this one, but I modified it to fit this uh, horizontal style. So feel free to also adapt to yours as well. Right. Notice that we're just focusing on the structure. We're not really looking at animations and special effects for now. You want to Make sure you have a good layout before looking at that. So after your writing section is testimonials. So testimonials is just an extra way to show your professionalism and to show that you are a real designer working with real clients. And this is some positive feedback which you've received in your career. So I just featured two testimonials I received. And you can see everything is basically um, well designed there is proper spacing and I can also inter switch between both uh, testimonial cards. So all this can be done using the different sections which you can find all here and you just adapt to fit what you're trying to build. Right. Also you can also adjust using the various properties here. Alright guys if you're enjoying this video so far make sure you hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe so after testimonials you could now have the about you section now many designers make a mistake by placing this at the top of their portfolio now while this is not wrong if you put yourself in the shoes of the client or your recruiter employer they are looking to see what you can offer to them first they don't really want to know about you at the beginning point, right? 
which is why your work should feature first before talking about yourself and your career and all that so some people usually put this on a separate page but i decided to just make this a simple one page our website so here i just talked about a brief about my career i added a link to my cv and a picture of myself right so next up is i linked my youtube um, channel so just a couple of my videos and also a link for people to so easily subscribe to my channel so if you're a content creator you create stuff on ig feel free to also make use of the templates and guys this is the beautiful thing about Prima. so if you scroll down you can see there are so many templates there's media you could add images videos you could add some um, a link to your spotify you could just search here for forms icons like there's so so much you can do there's even instagram if i come to social sorry if i see instagram facebook twitter even google maps you can add so many integrations to your website All right so moving on i added a contact me today form there's actually a form builder within Freema which you can use so they have um, a couple of integrations you can see hubspot here there's also type form type form is the one i use personally but feel free to try any of these integrations and once you add it there is a um, simple guide on how that can be set up um, that will probably be for another video we can see this can capture someone's name email and whatever request they have and once they send it i'm going to get the notification in my email right so easy without no code right all i did was customize this for my brand and the footer prima also has different um, formats i think there is about two which you can style to fit your brand so you can see i've customized the icons to orange which are my brand colors my name is here and all my social links link to my behance pdf portfolio and all that so that's just a brief rundown of the website right and you can see there are three pages here so the beautiful thing about framework is allows you to build responsibly so as you're building for desktop it's automatically resizing for tablets and phone now you might need to come and make some minor adjustments like if you look at the mobile version this is actually um, a condensed version of the navigation in tablet and desktop but the nice thing is Frema automatically creates this for you all you have to do is adapt it for your brand right so you can see the hero section the work everything is scaled for mobile like i said you might have to make a few tweaks but ideally you should be building on desktop first and then everything will collapse downward across each breakpoint for tablets and mobile so let's look at the individual pages so if i just come here to the peak sunglasses project you can see i built a template for how my individual project should look like so this is just the top showing the name of the project the description the role i played and the deliverables and this is just um, the pictures and the text across the course of the entire project so you can see just scrolling down and all these images have been set to fill the container just so as it moves to lower sizes it can scale properly which is why i need some uh, knowledge of auto layout so if i scroll down you can see how the page looks like right and take note you also have to think of the user experience of your website right so you can see there's a button for a user to click back to all projects which i've linked back to the home page so you need to consider all these things while building your individual pages or any extra page so you can see all the pages kind of have the same format all the projects for desktop for tablet and mobile if you scroll down as well you can see there is 
uh, links to the previous project and to the next project right so it's basically the same template for all the pages which are on which are for the projects on the website right now you might be wondering so you're done building your website or your put or you're still working on it we well, want to test things out you want to see how it's going to look so if you just select this desktop I click on this play icon here for preview so Framer is going to give you a preview of how your website is going to look like and you can see there are a couple of interactions which I added here so if you scroll down you just see how the website is going to appear on your desktop right and you can also shrink it down because we've designed for tablets and mobile as well so you can see how it's going to work on different screens right you can easily adjust and all this is being done without any code right if i click on this it's going to take me to this um, page if i click back so all this can be easily linked from the properties panel with no code right okay so let's go back and if you're done with your entire website you can also publish it live for free so let's click on this and let's click on this link here and it's going to take it to your browser and this is my browser guys with a live website which i can share with my clients with potential recruiters anybody and it's actually bearing my name myakpan.freeman.website so if you want to have like your own personal domain name you're going to have to buy it um, from Framer. they have some pretty nice hosting plans which you can check out so this is the live website which you can see has active links which i already worked on and it's definitely something you guys need to try out if you're a graphic designer all right guys so that was just a brief rundown of how to structure and build your personal portfolio in Freeman. so feel free to adapt to this style of template or any style of template but just remember the structure so you should have your hero section your projects your writing if you write testimonials about you your socials your contacts for people to reach out to you and a simple footer Thank you guys so much for watching and if you're looking to learn more about how to create your portfolio as a graphic designer just click the video on screen thank you so much have a great day and don't forget stay creative